Hello. I was thinking what should I do for my next video and this is gonna be one of them. So I made these cute um, recycle tags from scraps and whatnot um, and I wanted to show you how I'm not sure if I'm frame hope you can see that how it looks like and on the other side is just plain um, cardboard and this one I think they're gorgeous These tags are basically made from pieces of paper that were lying around. Here is a, a note from uh, Happy Mail and this is another note from Happy Mail and it says happy. Let me show you. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you just how I prepare my scraps. And I have a full of baggie. I think I already showed this. Um, not sure in which video, but you know, you just have a bunch of scraps and they're all edged. Um, and I keep this baggie just to fill them in. If in some case this is gonna be more than just what I have right now, I think I'm gonna put it in a container um, box preferably something that I can actually see it better because here I can see the colors but I cannot just you know pick it up um, so I am going to make these are really small pieces of whatever projects that I was working on and I just wanted to show you up close a little bit maybe you can see it better and um, this is what we're gonna do because I know if you're at least a little bit like me you have a lot a lot of painted papers and scraps and whatnot so I did make a bunch more in this envelope this was I think like in two or one day I just made some more scraps. These are not edged. You can actually see the difference. These really pop and uh, they look really nice. So I'll put this back into my envelope and I'm gonna show you what I use. Um, basically any any paper that has color or that you know just have some interest uh, this is my um, box of colored white strips that I saved for my um, envelopes but since I am working on other stuff I just want to use what I have right now so I have some green um, painted uh, what magazine uh, I try to avoid papers that are actually um, like two papers glued together or three pages uh, glued together I try to avoid those they're great for envelopes don't get me wrong but for this particular project if you can actually open them and just get one um, side of uh, the paper that's good um, I will use this strip because it's you know not really something and um, maybe this one and small pieces like this oh all of these these are really good and this uh, I'm gonna take one more uh, maybe something like this is this is everything double paper maybe this oh again double paper I mean it's good but I usually don't glue two pages really nicely together oh this one yes this one it's it's gonna do it's just this and you can even take um, wrapping paper like this this is a Christmas wrapping paper you can take um, magazine pages textbook pages it's really all that you need to have is paper so even even probably you can um, 
put some washi on the actual paper and then cut some strips out it's really up to you what you have um, I can suggest um, sticky notes those are basically the ones that uh, we rarely use nowadays since phones and all that some painted phone book papers uh, I'll put this back I think I remember um, what kind of stuff is here so this is a book page this is that happy mail um, letter um, thingy this is just some uh, text page from a jelly print this is an envelope that um, arrived to me um, as a happy mail and it was a back flap and I actually cut it off and cut it so because it's nice pattern so I wanted to have it this is from a um, a book page, a illustrated book page. This is just some uh, printed um, card, painted papers, um, watercolor papers, and this is again painted paper. This one, this is from a block from a magazine. Um, some random magazine had uh, these bits and pieces of uh, interesting look. So I took it out and made some blocks with that. Um, this is again that envelope and again um, the tag thingy. This is some book page and this is again another envelope and it looks like a um, wood grain envelope. This is some um, book page. So yeah, basically. And this green one, this green one is um, tea bag um, paper. And it's edged and that's all that it is so let me let me just show you a few examples really quickly a lot of times I have a stacks of paper that it's ugly that it's icky and I don't know what to do with them I just tried a few things with it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut these bits off for now but we're gonna go back to them um, a little bit later I am just um, you can do this by scissors, um, you can, you know, do it with guillotine or however you want. You just, what you need to do is just make random pieces, okay? And if this bothers you because you have too, oh, this is dangerous, because you have too many same ones, um, just take two of them and try to cut them together. That's all that you need to do. Okay, so on my left side, I'm going to make a pile and I'm just going to, I'll remove this white edge because I kind of don't want it here. And you can actually group them together and just cut if you wish to. Let me try that. So I'm going to group them together and I want the edges actually to be, oh, I want to cut this. I want edges to be straight, fairly straight, not wonky and circular motion, whatnot thingy. So I try to, to make it like straight. As possible if it's a little bit um, sideways it's not gonna hurt anybody but um, just you know so that you know so you can make big small big small whatever you wish um, sometimes it's good to have smaller pieces because you have some gaps and uh, I tend to not waste much even with this technique I try not to t to waste okay so I hope you can see this um, bunch of lovely bits and I know this is really small scrap so what I'm gonna do is I'll take my scissors when I find them okay so I'll take my scissors and it's not so straight here but um, that doesn't really matter I'm just going to make small 
pieces out of it. Um, to have some bread, and this is the same magazine, I think. I'll try to fairly put them together and cut more squares. I mean, it's easier if you use guillotine or um, a cutter. Depends how good is your cutter, but um, since I bought this, I can't use anything else. So if you don't like the straight edges, then what you can do is um, tore the pieces of uh, paper with simple ruler and do it that way. But I think for me at least it's easier if I can just um, use my guillotine and actually cut the pieces this way. I have two little thingies here and we pretty much did all the scraps that we pulled out um i am using this i don't know i'm weird sometimes so sometimes i do use with a hole and sometimes i don't so these are two small thingies that actually are gonna go to trash and now what i'm gonna do is i want to prep this pieces so I am taking my really, really, really cheap watercolors and uh, my water bottle and I'll take black because I think the black is the one that I always go to. Um, and I'll just put my sponge in and I'll, I'll start edging my pieces. I love to do this when I'm watching uh, something or listening to something. Uh, I think I'm out of focus. So even the pieces that are darker, it's kind of nice to actually make a border around them. It's It's more... You can see them better. I don't know how to say it. I found with the glossy paper, sometimes um, when you put watercolors down, if they're dry, it's okay. But when you glue it down, if you're not careful, sometimes the the watercolors could um, rub off. So be aware of that if you're using... Um, like glossy pages or glossy magazines. put this in my finished pile or I'll just I'll just leave them here um, I'm gonna take my palette away and I'm gonna put non-finished into my envelope so when the time comes I can actually finish them because I have quite a lot uh, I take some cardboard from packaging and here I have some pieces. You can use whatever you want. This is just from tablets. I actually have a white um, backside, which, you know, I don't need to put anything over it. No lines or anything. I can just stamp lines if I want to. Um, but yeah, I wanted to have a bigger tag. That's why I left it so big. So I'm not sure if we're gonna do all three of them, but I'll just start with what we have right now. I'm gonna glue the pieces that we prepared and the ones that I have here. You're not limited to cardboard. You can have really thick cardstock or, you know, just something that it's gonna be more sturdy. You can actually use glue stick if you want to, but I prefer to just use this glue
this is really easy and no-brainer tutorial how to actually make a beautiful tags that have a lot of personality for me when I look at this tag for example I know when I did this and I know where the pieces came from which gives the tags a lot of personality for now I decided to just leave them as they are uh, but as the project that I will be working on I think I'll decide if I want to have a hole or if I'm just gonna keep them as they are I hope you're gonna use all those small scraps that you hoard because um, I think this is the perfect project for this and you don't even have to measure anything you just cut and glue um, that's all that you have to do and you know you can even put all the similar colors on one tag if you like that better like just pinks or just blues it's just up to you what you're gonna do I would really love to see your projects um, please share it with me um, in my Facebook group Emma outside the box uh, the link is below so check it out and uh, I hope you like the tutorial give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the content that I'm providing have a beautiful day and happy crafting bye bye